So, Spain wants to start the very first octopus factory farm because we didn't have enough bad things in the world, I guess. The thing is that in Spain, there are no animal welfare laws for the protection of octopuses at all. And even meat eaters will be disgusted by this happening because they are not used to seeing octopi as food, whereas in Spain, octopi is a delicacy. And I actually have my own little octopus friends here that want to say hi. Here you go. These are my cute little friends, and I love them, and I don't want them to be factory farmed, farmed at all, or hurt at all, and you shouldn't either. Now, naturally, there have been several petitions launched against this already. IDA USA, in defense of animals, USA has launched a petition against this. And this has been public for, I think, at least since October last year, that this would potentially happen, uh, octopus factory farming. But this petition right now is urgent because we're on the last stretch. If we don't manage to stop it now by, like, public opinion, we won't be able to. I encourage you all to sign it. Please do. Tell all your friends and family to sign it. Please spread it around because we need all the support we can get. The announcement that the Spanish multinational corporation Nueva Pescanova plans to launch the world's first octopus farm has rightly been met with outrage among scientists, conservationists, and caring people the world over. The European Food Safety Authority and the Spanish Agency for Food Safety and Nutrition must ban octopus farming before it is too late. Nueva Pescanova is already far along in its progress to open the farm, which is scheduled to open for business in the summer and begin selling the bodies of octopuses in 2023. This year, and there it links to an article from the BBC about octopus intelligence, um, which I definitely would recommend you read and also watch the documentary My Octopus Teacher. Like It really gives you a sense of how intelligent these creatures truly are, um, although they do not need uh, to be intelligent to deserve our consideration in the first place, but it's something notable. The operation is shrouded in secrecy, as Nova Pescanova has refused to reveal any details as to the conditions the octopuses will be kept in. Huh, I wonder why that is. As things are, the octopus will receive no government protection, as current EU animal welfare law covering farmed animals only applies to vertebrates. Truth is, Invertebrates, like fish and like octopi, they can feel pain, they are sentient, and they do deserve our consideration. They have inherent value as sentient beings and should be considered so under the law. Octopuses are sentient creatures, capable of feeling emotions like joy, pain, and fear, and are incredibly intelligent. They show clear evidence of experiencing moods ranging from grumpy to playful just as humans do, and show remarkable curiosity and problem-solving abilities. They are able to use tools, plan ahead, and even to befriend other species, as is made clear in the wonderful documentary My Octopus Teacher. Like, what's funny to me is that lots of people point to animals like, oh, like, they can't use tools. You know, they're not as intelligent as humans are. They can plan ahead. They can imagine a future. They can, like, that's incredible. Animals are way more intelligent mentally capable, have different qualities that we can't even think of, that we don't even realize. And then there's a picture of uh, a package in which octopus is sold. Um, it says patas de pulpo cocido en su jugo, which means octopus legs cooked in their juice. Which is like, that doesn't even sound appetizing. Nueva Pescanova is plundering octopus populations in the wild to profit from their brutally killed bodies. And only now that their numbers have fallen so dramatically from this company's and other companies' exploitation has it decided to factory farm them as well. The company has the nerve to defend its plans by saying that by creating this factory farm, it will save wild octopuses while it continues to drive them toward extinction with no stated commitment to stop killing them in the wild or plans to stop others from doing so. Yes, call them out. Call them out right now. This is a disgusting hypocrisy. Killing them after abducting them from the wild or after bringing them into a miserable existence through industrial farming while claiming to save their species in the wild is repugnant. Hell yeah, it is. It is incredibly repugnant, horrible, awful. Huh. Additionally, octopuses are carnivores. So this farm will only result in increased fishing of already exhausted waters to provide sustenance for the company's hungry prisoners. 
I love the use of language in this. Hungry prisoners really paints a picture. I love the use of like effective and accurate emotional storytelling in here. Farming carnivorous animal species is even more ecologically wasteful than farming vegan or vegetarian species, and during this epic climate crisis should be a reason alone to deny this project, when even farming of vegan animals is being scrutinized more closely. Yes, obviously, like, giving an animal to eat and then killing that animal to eat it, to eat them, is always going to be wasteful, it's always going to be inefficient, from looking at it from a resource perspective, it's always going to be negative for when looking at it from a climate perspective, but especially from the ethical perspective. It will always be wrong. And that is what this petition leads with. It leads with the ethics, then with other stuff like climate and resources. And I that's what I love. This is a great, great petition. There is nothing ethical or environmentally sound about keeping these sentient beings in tanks all their short lives and then killing them brutally for a financial profit while further destroying the environment. No matter how you look at it, this farm is an evil that must be stopped. Bravo, bravo. Everyone, please go sign this petition. I'm gonna link it in the description. It's in the pinned comment below. There's also a petition by Species Unite, which at the moment has 43,000 of 50,000 signatures. That's their goal. They have a few more details in their petition because it says Nueva Pescanova is planning to open a commercial octopus farm in the Canary Islands in 2023, where over 1 million captive octopuses will be kept and killed every year. 1 million. They also claim that octopuses are incredibly emotionally intelligent and complex sentient beings. And they cite a review of studies saying... Uh, a recent review of hundreds of scientific studies found strong evidence that octopuses are sentient beings, first of all, who can experience complex emotions such as pain and joy. The researchers who compiled the data also concluded that it would be impossible to farm these animals in a humane way. That's it. There is no humane farming. No humane farming, no humane killing. And because of this groundbreaking report, the United Kingdom recently amended its current animal welfare sentience bill to recognize octopuses as sentient beings that are therefore entitled to welfare protections. And we need this all across the board, every country. We need to protect the rights of these animals. We need to give them the right to be protected, the right to have their bodily autonomy and their life protected. And apparently a report from Nueva Pescanova was leaked in March about how they plan to kill these octopuses. Nueva Pescanova plans to kill up to 1 million octopuses each year by submerging them in 500 liter ice slurry tanks where they will eventually freeze to death, a method scientifically proven to be inhumane. They want to freeze these octopuses. They want to freeze them to death? Nova Pescanova plans to produce 3,000 tons of octopus a year, so this would mean that around 10 to 15 octopuses would be living in each cubic meter of a tank. And since octopuses are solitary creatures, at this point, in these conditions, they would resort to cannibalism. Like, all of this, all of this, I'm, I'm gonna stop reading here. It's all bad. It's all terrible. Please sign all of these petitions, any of them that you want, Nueva Pescanova has already invested 65 million euros in this farm. It still has to receive the permits, though, so there is a chance that we can stop this. They're awaiting the approvals from Spain's environmental impact assessment. Well, this is obviously bad for the environment, too. With the current revision of animal welfare legislation, the European Commission now has the real opportunity to avoid the terrible suffering of millions of animals. We cannot afford to leave aquatic animals behind. We're calling on the EU to include a ban on octopus farming before it ever sees the light of day in order to avoid plunging more sentient beings into a living hell. We cannot allow this to get any worse than it is because it's already so bad. It's already fucking horrible. We have to end this now. Please go sign these petitions. Leave a comment. Please talk about this. Talk about this with your friends, with your family, anyone you know. Send this in all your group chats. Like, this is important, especially if you live in Europe. Everyone needs to know about this. Everyone needs to help support this initiative, these petitions. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.